So I've had a few clients in the salon this week that have been asking me how often they should really wash their hair. So I thought it would be really interesting to go over everything you need to know about this particular topic. In this video, I'll tell you the importance of washing your hair correctly and at the correct frequency. What could be making you feel that you need to wash it more often than ideally you'd like? how to figure out exactly how often you personally need to wash your hair and how to actually properly wash your hair because I'm surprised at how many people don't know the right steps. So it's really important to wash your hair properly and at the right frequency because after all, your scalp is an extension of your skin and you need a healthy scalp to grow healthy hair and that's all of our goals. You also want your hair to look as good as possible as much of the time as possible. So figuring out how often you need to reset, rewash, re-clean your hair is crucial to make sure the rest of your hairstyles look good on subsequent days. If you feel like you're washing your hair or needing to wash your hair more than you really want to, then there's a few things that could be going wrong. The first thing is you're using the wrong shampoo or putting the wrong products on after you wash your hair. So many shampoos make all these big claims about you know, smoothing, moisturizing, repairing, and so on. Whereas a shampoo's primary function is actually to clean and reset your hair. If you're using something that's really, really heavy and trying to do too many things as a shampoo, it's not gonna be cleaning your hair properly in the first place. Now, using too many leave-in products, leave-in conditioners, or heavy styling products is gonna speed up the rate at which you need to wash your hair. Of course, some of these products are important because leaving the hair freshly shampooed and not conditioned or not with the right leave-in products is also not good for your hair, but finding the correct products for you and the right balance is really important. It can also come from within, so it can also be your skin type is an oilier skin type and therefore your scalp gets oily more quickly, or maybe you exercise a lot, or maybe you get very hot during the night when you sleep. All of these things are going to increase the rate at which your scalp gets dirty and the rate at which your hair needs to be refreshed. It's crucial that you use the right shampoo for your hair type and don't ask it to do too much. A shampoo's primary purpose is to wash your hair properly. And so if in doubt, using lightweight shampoos that don't make too many claims is always best. Clarifying and deep cleansing shampoos can also be really good, but not all of them are suitable for everyday use or every wash use. Sometimes they're better left once in a while. So alternating your regular shampoo with something more deep cleaning will also help with this. Now, to figure out exactly what you need when it comes to how often to wash your hair, it's really about taking a mindful approach. So what I mean by that is you need to do a bit of trial and error and that comes with different products and different frequencies. If your scalp starts to get itchy or feel uncomfortable that's a really clear sign that you do need to wash your hair. Although some people's scalps can go a week or longer without feeling any kind of irritation at all. My recommendation is be led by what your scalp needs and then secondarily what your hair needs. Of course, every time you wash and reset your hair, you're likely to then be processing your hair in some way, whether it's a blow dry or straightening irons or so on. And if that's the case, then washing your hair less frequently is gonna help your hair be healthier over time. But if you have a problematic scalp, for example, and you get itchiness or flakiness on your scalp, washing your scalp and therefore your hair more frequently, despite what your hair needs, is gonna make you feel better and provide a healthier scalp condition to grow healthy hair. Now, if you feel like you're not washing your hair properly, here's a couple of tips to really make sure that you know what you're doing when it comes to shampooing your own hair. The first is making sure to distribute the shampoo properly over your scalp before you start lathering it. So apply the shampoo to your hand, tap it onto different areas of your scalp first, then rub your hands together and start to lather up. Now the sign of clean hair is that there's an even lather all the way through your scalp. So systematically move from one area to the other. I prefer zigzag downward motions rather than loops because that's gonna stop longer hair getting tangled. If after the first shampoo, it's not lathering properly or you just sense that your hair is not completely clean, it's so worth you repeating the process and doing a second shampoo because that's gonna really set you up for success with a longer lasting style and a better looking blow dry. Of course, then you're gonna rinse out all the suds thoroughly and use a conditioner. I recommend applying conditioner to the ends first and walking it up if you have longer hair. I always like to suggest to my clients that they detangle their hair with the conditioner in using a wet brush or tangle teaser or something like that and then rinse the hair. But you wanna make sure 
sure you're not applying conditioner to the scalp area and allowing everything to get rinsed out so that your hair feels easy to manage and nourished but not like there's excess product left in your hair because this will also make you feel like you need to wash your hair more quickly again. I'm really curious about what the average is here because I feel like most of my clients wash their hair every other day but I speak to many people who can go a week or longer and many people who have to wash their hair every day so let me know in the comments here exactly how often you wash your hair and whether that's working for you and of course as always let me know if you have any specific questions about other hair related topics because you and my clients are the inspiration for creating these videos.